just real quick before this video, I just hit over 30,000 subscribers. 30,000, it's huge. I want to thank each and every one of you. It means a lot. And to go ahead and do this next video, we got to start right back off where it started. DC5, baby. Let's hit that DC5. Woo! What is up guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a DC5, adding some more pillar support, chassis support, frame support, whatever you want to call it. Now I've done a lot on the car already and I'm going to walk you around that. All those videos are on my channel, already exist, so if any of these you want to see, you can research through my channel and find those videos as well. Real quick, let's check out the product I got today. It is the Cusco side pillar bar. So when you got these uh, two door cars, they got the big old long door and you lose a little bit of support there with your frame so that comes in it ties everything in and it'll finish off that cage thing I got going on inside got the product in the garage in here still and there they are nice color for this car huh Woo! <laughs> it almost exactly matches that's sweet giving these things a once over everything the the paint the finish is perfect the welds are awesome the product seems nice and tight and strong it's just got some seat mount brackets and all that uh, hardware kit looks like a high grade nice hardware kit the only thing is the instructions are all in Japanese so let's go get to it now here's the existing stuff I was talking about when you come up in here I have a C pillar bar, this bar right here, and then I have this B pillar bar that swings back. It's got the cross member support there. And I did, if you can see, I I bent that so the seats had space to recline. Also serves as a harness bar. Next, subframe bracing. That'll focus in on there. There you go. Subframe bracing. I know the Beaks bar is a little redundant, but hey, if you want it, get it. <laughs> and then on the engine bay, the new speed bar. And again, that is on the channel as well. So what this bar is going to do, it's going to come in right here and down here. It's going to tie into the frame on the outside of that seat. Then it's gonna shoot a bar across diagonally right there. It's gonna tie all this in together nice and stiff. The problem I have with this seat right here, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because it's already got the harnesses that all ran and stuff. It's gonna be like a, working with a bird nest. So I'm gonna do the other side, let you see how it looks, how it installs and stuff, and then I'll worry about this one later. I got my right side set out here. Everything's ready to go and tools. All I really need is a socket set and a little cheater so coming into here first thing i have to do take out the seat and that's real easy that's two 14 millimeter bolts in the front then you slide it up and there's two in the back and she'll come right on out of there Huh, 2013. Got these little covers. She should lift right on out of there. Oh yeah, forgot the harness. There we go. One of the reasons I like to stiffen the car up like this so much is uh, where we live. Like, oh, you freaking look at this. Every day. Every day, bastard. It's just all country roads. Ride these. Man, just whip these curves. 
I love it. It's the it's the funnest thing. I'll uh, I'll make a video driving this road I live on here. It's one of my favorite. Turns into a one lane road down there. It is sweet. Kind of scary though. A lot of people around here dip. They throw their dip cups in my yard. There's nothing better than waking up to a dip cup. Boot. All right. Into the cage. Dang. This one's not gonna be fun. Oh, hey, it's a 14. Sweet. That gives you an idea of what you're going to have here. So pop off this thing down at the bottom here. Make sure this thing is threaded right before I throw the impact on it. Look at that shot right there. You're getting an idea about what it's gonna look like. Man, that's sick. Look at that. That's aggressive. You're aggressive. This is giving me anxiety. I can't deal with this. Oh my God. <laughs> I've gotta clean it up. 17. And a six Allen. Not really gonna tighten it up, just gonna get a little snug. Not time to put that seat back in there. How you doing? Now the front, move back up in here, see there's your hole, here's your bracket, that'll line up right in there. Face that out to get clearance for the chair to come up. Don't want any clearance issues. If I can get a tighten on this, all is good. There we go. There she is. She's tight. Oh. So the only question is, this kit does not have a bolt with it that is as long, it feels like from here to the bottom of the car is about two and a half, three inches. That's not doing it. So I'm going to have to find out how thick that is and get a bolt. I'll probably have to put a slit in my floor mat so I can take it in and out. There you go. There's the look of it. It's sick. It's nasty. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, it looks good. Nice. 
strong too. Switch cameras, give you a better look. All right, I pulled it out in the sun, give you a better view. There we go, that's it. That's all there is to it, pretty easy install. Uh, it costs about $230. I got mine from a place called TH Motorsports, based out of Chicago. I ordered it on like a Wednesday, Friday morning. It was sitting on the porch. Didn't pay for any extra kind of shipping, so a free shout out to them. Thank you guys. Nothing much to it. Only uh, struggles I had was with that custom bar, kind of wrangling that thing in there. I cut some of that out of there because nobody else is gonna have that. Uh, but other than that, everything went smooth, other than the fact that I'm an idiot and stupid and I didn't uh, plug my harnesses back in under my seat and I had to take the thing back out again and put the harnesses back on. But other than that, it was easy. If you do like the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It won't hurt you at all. It won't cost you nothing. Just help me out, support my channel. Really appreciate it. One more thing, just wanted to say uh, a shout out and a uh, big thanks to Porter. Hope you're still watching this and uh, be my boy. You'll always be my boy. I got a pig here somewhere. Where you at, pig? Where you at, pig? Come here. Come here, pig. Come here. Where's your big brother at? Where's your brother? Hey guys, that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like, comment, subscribe, or check out the, uh, my other videos down there. All kinds of them. There's hundreds of them. Check them out. Check them out. If you didn't like the video, check out the people on the bottom of my channel called Bad Mofos. Hours and hours of fun. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Later. Peace.